everyone. No fooling. Don't check your clock. I know we're normally here Thursday nights mm -hmm. at 730. We thought we'd we thought we'd mix it up this morning, uh, Kathy, at on April 1st, no fooling at 830. It's thankful Thursday reflections all day. It, it morning, is. Kathy. Absolutely. And I even put on my cup my power color red today, you know, getting it, getting oh, myself my and my juices. Going. Going. There you go. <laughs> I'm Kathy Fester, co-founder of a Gratitude Appreciation Summit, and we are so thrilled to be here this morning with a special guest, um, Ashley Mowry. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Yay, I said it right. <laughs> Yay. We are so thrilled. Oh my goodness, I love your smile. <laughs> so we are so Thank thrilled you. to have you with us this morning. Jeanette, why I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, great. So um, Ashley is a... Is a uniquely heart-centered faith-based person that I found on Facebook and she has a group called the daily gratitude group and it started back in two, uh, July 31st 2019 because I took a yeah. look so <laughs> Ashley um tell your story why did you start this private Facebook group and how many members do you have in the group right now so I started it okay so this is going to sound like a, this is a big word but so I was reading about something called well, first of all, I gratitude. I've always, that's always been a thing for me. I just never really had an, like a concrete avenue for it, but it's always been something that I've, I've always incorporated in my life. Um, and I was reading about something called neuroplasticity, which is a really big word for something that basically just means that you can actually change your brain. And I stumbled upon something that said that if you Every day for 21 days, write down three things that you're thankful for. You can rewire your brain to be happier to because you, it's basically kind of like habituation. Like your the the neurons in your brains communicate differently if you do this. If you make this a habit, and so I was like, that's a really cool concept. Maybe, I, I'm like, I, and I decided, oh, I'm going to do this. Maybe I can get some other people to do this with me. And so I started this group that had 21 people <laughs> that was supposed to go for 21 days. And it was, I was like, okay, we're going to do a 21 day gratitude challenge. Like let's every day, all of us, let's write down three things we're thankful for. And in my head, I was going to end it at 21 days. And we got to 21 days and we all kind of fell in love with the practice and the simplicity of it and the way that it was affecting the way that we did our everyday lives. And so we kind of decided we didn't want to stop. So, so we just kept going. And now we are at 15,000 people from 21, which is exciting. So exciting and so exciting that so many people are wanting to do gratitude, which I just love because it it legitimately can change your life. Like it, like have, like you will start to notice so many more good things about your life when you get into this daily practice. And so I, 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 I want to say like, oh yes, I'm just doing it for other people, but I'm just, I, it's also really, it's helped me so much. Like it's probably helped me more than it's helped anyone else in the group <laughs> because it's just been so, it's been so rewarding and it's truly changed the way I, I think about things and it's changed the way I, I view life. So it's been amazing. How have you built it up? I was looking at your, your site because I'm a member of your amazing Facebook page. <laughs> here. Thank you, Jeanette. <laughs> um, and 15,000 is a lot, but what I notice is so many people are engaged like yes. they are engaged and posting multiple times a day. Yes. It's not just you. Yes. And like, how did you manage to achieve that goal? Like, that's just, that's amazing. Well, I think, you know, so, so I think it started out with kind of friends inviting friends, that kind of a thing. And it kind of grew organically from that. And then, you know, the engagement is, it's a really good question. Cause that is hard. Like I've, I've been in groups before where there's just like zero engagement, you know, everything just kind of falls flat and it's one person posting everything. And um, the engagement. I, so my, I was telling Jeanette earlier, my love language is, is encouragement. Like that is how I, you know, that's kind of how I express myself and how I want to, you know, be with others. And so I was very intentional initially about making sure that I responded to everything. And, you know, now we're so big that I can't, I can't, I just can't do that. But I, I was responding to everything. And so it became, it really actually became a real community. It wasn't just like, 
a, a, a kind of a cold, distant group where, people, where one person just posts something and nobody else does anything. It really became a community. And the biggest compliment that I got the other day was whenever I, I posted something about, you know, we're, I'm so thankful there's 15,000, you know, people practicing gratitude in this group. And one person was like, I can't believe there's that many people. It feels like a family. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was such a big deal because it's, it's, I feel like there's, it's really been kind of an organic feel of community because, you know, I initially was very engaged. And then one of my amazing friends, Liz is, she's also like an encouragement queen was started, you know, very engaging with people. And I think that people just want to be, want to feel known and want to be, you know, recognized and want to know that like someone's actually reading what they say. I read every single thing that ever gets put in that group. I, every single thing I read it. I mean, I don't know if I can respond to every single thing, but I read everything. And I think that people want to know that I'm not just writing into space. Like someone's actually taking the time to, to, you know, read what I'm saying. And I think it just kind of fostered that, that environment of people, look people wanting to see what other people were saying and wanting to engage with other people and um even the other day someone posted something about a, a child that had a disability and some other a bunch of other comments came in about their, you know some of some pe other people whose children also had disabilities and those people all connected and so it, there's a lot of connections going on that I think is um is really what fosters that sense of like family and community in that group which is just amazing yeah, that's incredible so you reached out to me, um, uh, you sent me a direct message, I think it was two, maybe three months ago, and asked me to be a moderator. Well, I got to tell you, on my side in a private message, I almost did a little happy dance. <laughs> because for someone to see me, as you see people and see, see me, as what I do practice in my life, it was very validating to me and very trustworthy that I built with you to be like, yeah. known and trust. Uh, like known and trusted um, to trust me with your 15,000 people. Um, and, and it was just like, wow, you know what? That was more than the number of zeros that I will ever have in a bank account. <laughs> so, well, you, I'm you, so grateful. well, I am so thankful. Like I just, I, you stood out to me as like, like I, like I said, you stood out to me as just this joyful ray of sunshine like every time I would read your post it would make me smile like every time I would see you interacting with somebody it would make me smile and I was like she's just you just embody joy you embody joy and you embody just light and and happiness and and I so respected you for that so I was like I I need her I need her more involved and I need her in like a leadership you know I need her like getting getting in there because you were just I wanted you to, to kind of be known as like you're you're a leader in that group because you are just such a joy. I mean, you're such a such a ray of sunshine. Thank so you. Thank Ashley. you. Thank um, you. It it is it's joyful to go and to see how my friends, my sphere of friends now are in there, and it's almost like the best newspaper that we get delivered into our mailboxes or into onto our doorstep every day is these gratitude stories and these gratitude posts yeah. so um and now kathy is uh heavily involved as well and and it's growing in such an amazing um, amazing way mm -hmm. uh, so kathy i think we have something special to say about something that happened in ashley's life yesterday yeah i understand you have two children and they're irish babies and it's their birthday yesterday Oh, okay. <laughs> that's actually the, uh, that's Liz. That's my friend Liz. Oh. That's, yes. Yes. That's her. That's her two precious little ones. They have oh. their birthdays are on the exact same day. Well, please extend a happy birthday to your friend. I definitely Liz. will. Happy birthday to the, your two little, your Irish baby. <laughs> and those of you that don't know what an Irish baby is, is one is born. They're both born on the same day, but years apart. So yeah. I just learned that terminology uh, this morning, actually, from a friend, what that means. Uh, Ashley, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you this morning. Thank you well, so much for making the time and keeping your little one busy with a puzzle <laughs> in the other room. Uh, you're, you're a great mom. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. I love being here. Thank you so much for inviting me.
Well, thank you so much. And Jeanette, thank you for the connection that you, you have inspired me too. So we have a tradition at the end of our calls. So we'll yeah, warm up we, our hands. You can join us, Ashley. Okay. We go a half a heart. We go a half a heart. We put our hearts together. We pump one, two, three. Kindness out to the world and love out to the world. Love that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Those that tuned in and watched it live, watching it on the replay. We'd love for you today in the comments to put your three things that you are grateful for today and afterwards, um, after you watch this video. So uh, Kathy, no fooling. Today's going to be a great day. On it April is 3rd. definitely going to be a great day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody.